na love you Kuna mambo na shindwa ficha mama Leo lazima niseme Drunk texting baby Telling you how I feel Maji ya mezidi unga masheri Wacha moyo ufunguke Cause I'm so tipsy And you're so in my head And I'm trying not to lose my friend Jumping off the friend zone Jumping on baby Out of the friend zone baby And I got no parachute Jumping off the friend zone Jumping on baby Out of the friend zone baby station in the world in the world is right here right now what's up guys i have a question for you uh, yeah. um you are the first band or the first group of musicians in Kenya to fuse poetry and music at the same time and just Thank come up much. with something else that is just out of this world so how did you guys just come up with that and make it just go on another level and it's selling because it's making for you guys or it isn't What is this magic? USIU Radio is a 24-hour facility that is entirely run by students. It is a platform where they get to practice skills such as on-air presentation, sound mix techniques, and use and handling of microphones and the like. This exposes them to the real world of radio by actually controlling a radio station. I am a teacher. I teach uh, journalism and publications at USIU. And the USIU radio idea or was born, I guess, um, somewhere around the year 2004 or 2005. Um, the reason being, uh, in 2005, I think we did a program review. And we realized that uh, it is international, it's a practice international that institutions of higher learning who have journalism uh, uh, ideally should have a radio station uh, which would give the students uh, hands-on experience when how to handle equipment and basically uh, get prepared for the industry yes i am this is 99.9 USIU Radio. What this make you feel like? This is your number one reggae and dance hall uh, show. What this make you feel like? The recording studio acts as a ground for preparation where students are trained on the fundamentals of radio. This includes activities such as voice testing and program demos. Welcome back to the Music Junkies on USIU Radio 99.9 FM. I am your host, Jonathan Bonnie, and I'm your boy, Mr. Sam and Nays from Mugutoita. And right now, it's time for the conversation. <laughs> That segment, the top four at four, and today we will bring underground artists from Kenya. Can you take that again? There are a number of USIU Africa students who have passed through the campus radio station, tried it out, and gave commercial radio a shot. We will now look into the experience they had working on USIU radio as well as the commercial radio stations. Rachel Kiragu, but most people call me Ray because it's short for Rachel. What's up, people? My name is Teddy Eugene Otieno. My name is Maxi. I'm Dan Mocheng, aka DJ Uh My name is Hezron Maloti. How I got to know about USA Radio was in my second year uh, at USA. I was doing international business administration. Journalism was nowhere in my mind. And so in my second year, me and my friends saw this poster at USA um, for radio. Like, you're Sayu Radio. And like I knew KU has a radio, I'd, I'd never heard you say you has a radio. And and they, they were calling for people to come and audition, have their voiceovers, but it was gonna start with a meeting um, at their radio studios. And that's how this one lecturer who was so hilarious. <laughs> His name is Cherub Teach. Like you gay. Just it was like a whole you wanna laugh, but he's being really serious about radio. And then I realized, look at how free these people are. Like this isn't business where it's graphs and numbers and math. This this is this is you. This is your personality. If you if I was to get into this radio station for those two hours or one hour or whatever time I'd get, I'd be me. I could do whatever it is. 
I wanted to do. Stand by to find out what your scenario is, but I'm also really excited because we've got special guests in studio, you guys. And I told you about it. If you've been on our social media, like Jay Giffon has been, then you absolutely are aware that we were expecting and we are now in studio with Tom Olango. Well, I got to know about you, so you radio from a friend. Sherry Lindiwe, back, way back, way back, way back. I think that was around 2012, thereabout. She was just talking about it in class and I got interested. We walked over to the studio, checked it out and I was like, yeah, I think this is something I'd love to do. So the very first time I actually got into the news team, Sherry was uh, heading the news team at that time. And she was like, you've got the voice for it, why don't you try? So I tried it out and uh, people loved it. People loved what I did back then and they were like, we're going to incorporate you into the news team. Two weeks later, ZD just walked into studio while I was doing news and it was like, I want this guy on air. So around that time, one of my best friends, one of my mentors, big brother in the industry, Prince Nesta, was now overseas doing his studies. Um, Nesta told me, you've got it all. You can do this better than I can. Or you can actually do this better than I'm actually doing it right now. Why don't you just... Uh, get dropped into the show. So I used to do a lot of sit-ins. I sat there as he did his thing. I got to learn one or two things. A few weeks later, we were hosting the show together. Journalism students all had like their big ideas, I want to do a breakfast show that looks like this and talk about this and I just wanted to be on radio so I was given a, a health show. Yeah, I was told, I'm sorry but there are no more slots. The only slot available is if you make your show educational and entertaining. So I did a health show called The Lifeline. How I came to know about uh, Radio SIU, I think I was there when it was launched by uh, Kirubi at uh, USAU Mama, Mama Africa. I was there, so we were like, me and my boys were like, yo, there's gonna be a station, so, just like that. Oh, that's a vibe, and that's a vibe. Yeah, that's a vibe. So, at 99.9 .9 FM Radio USAU, I had a show with uh, Kafi and Frankie. A big tune. But besides that, I, I used to be behind the scenes, like production. We, we were the first team to look for guys to join Radio SIU. When everyone is, has, has gone home, I used to be the one left behind to schedule music to go, I mean to play overnight. And um, until morning when the next show, like the first show is opening. My name is Dan Chen, uh, aka DJ NYD, a former USI radio presenter uh, and DJ. I first found out about USAI Radio when I first joined USIU through a friend. Uh, came for a meeting, and uh, after the, the meeting, they were kind enough to uh, let me join the radio. And from then, I've been at USAI Radio for almost five five years. My name is Hazrun Maloti, also known as DJ Nish. I'm a graduate of USIU. Um, I graduated in the class of 2015 with a BA in journalism. My interest for USI Radio picked in mid-2011. I remember we used to be a whole crew. You know when you, when you come in as freshmen, <laughs> there's always this certain crew that you relate yourself with. Yeah, so I met with Denver, no ID. We used to chill at the cafeteria and sort of play music and whatnot. So he springed the idea on me. He was like, yo, so do you know USI you actually have a radio called USI Radio? How about me and you go out and try for it? So I remember us doing our first demo and coming to the producer's lounge right here um, at the studio. In it, we met um, Ray, <laughs> Ray from Homeboys, who was a, who was a close friend. Uh, I remember giving my demo to her and they were like, yo, we'll listen to it. If we like it, we'll call you guys up and then, you know, get back to you and see if you have the potential to actually join USI Radio. Uh, what helped us a lot in establishing a USI Radio is um, the success story of two students who participated in the Zain uh, Africa Challenge, Andrew Chen and uh, Tenkerubo Getui. Um, they emerged second runners-up, number three, and were able to represent uh, 
Kenya, I think, uh, in the East African uh, challenge. As you know, Andrew Chin right now uh, is a known TV uh, reporter at the National Media Group, NTV. Um, they won a good amount of money. Uh, that competition actually meant uh, the students who in my tops uh, would get uh, some uh, thousands of dollars which would go into supporting the institution. So uh, these two won um, financing for equipment, which was about 7,000 US dollars. And with that, we started the idea of buying equipment or the first equipment for the US Indian. It is evident that being on radio does not necessarily mean being in front of a microphone and speaking through it to an unseen audience. It involves production, DJing and good public relation. I think it's actually a really cool platform that has really interesting people who get to actually know more about radio. Yes, are you ready? For me, I'd say it's lit, it's legit. <laughs> and uh, I'd, I'd, I'd talk on behalf of sportsmen and talented youths. Um, it lets people around the USAE radius know about us and what we do and what we're planning to do in the near future. And it helps us build our courage and talents in general. USAE radio has definitely gotten a hold of the attention of commercial radio stations, which have in turn given students a chance to work with them. Their impact has been felt beyond the five kilometer radius of reach that the station operates within. All right, hey, what's up? My name is G Money. I am the morning show host right here. I've listened to USIU radio um, when I'm in the vicinity a few times. Also, um, I've been on the campus quite a few times and I always make a point of duty to, uh, to listen. I listen to a lot of studio radio, student radio, by the way, because I find that it's raw, but you can hear and you can find hidden gems tucked in the way when you listen to the radio. One thing I do like about USI radio, USIU radio is that I found the production values to be quite high and I was really impressed by the studio as well when I had a chance to go there. There's a show on, on USA Radio while I was doing Morning Madness called A Big Tune. It was huge and they did the most daring thing on campus because they were a dance hall show. They thought, hey, wouldn't it be really great if we invited G-Money to, um, to come sit in one of our shows? G-Money, who was like dance hall ambassador, breakfast show host of Homeboys Radio. I was invited to do an interview um, with uh, a group they call themselves um, the Uptown Cats or the Uptown Cats, something like that. It was um, DJ Kathy, there was Max, and there was Frankie. So as part of the interview, I actually at some point promised them a job. And I don't think that they probably thought I was serious, but I remember coming back to, the, to Homeboys and saying to DJ John, who's our um, head of radio, saying, yo, I've met these guys at USIU. We need to find space for them. Luckily at that time, we had two radio stations so it was easy for me to get them in and then give them a slot on our uh, station as it was then called, it was uh, Uptown Radio. And uh, they were able to do Saturday afternoons and hone their skills. And when that station shut down, we were then able to um, bring them into Homeboys Radio. At Uptown, they worked really hard and G was trying to, G Money was trying to you know, expand it and get more presenters. And one day he says, you know, there's so many guys in this station, we should get a female presenter. And Kathy, Maxi, and, and, and Frankie all thought, why don't we ask Ray to do a demo? The second introduction to students from home, from USIU, was uh, Ray, who does our Saturday weekend breakfast. Um, Ray was a demo which sat on my desktop for so long. And um, I remember my producer then at the time, a guy called Shiri, who was actually a uh, USIU student as well. My, there's a lot of you guys here. Um, Shiri had given me Ray's demo and it was on my desktop, I hadn't listened to it. And then the first time I listened to it, I was like, yep. Um, last year I was lucky enough to join Homeboys Radio and I feel like that was one of the biggest opportunities ever pertaining to my career. Yeah, because that's the place I always wanted to go work at, and it's the place that I always wanted to be in. Imagine you just moving from USI radio, and now you're in a commercial radio station. Now you start to understand the basics into what it takes to run a commercial radio station. I first started off as a DJ, uh, then Ray told, told me, hey, my guy have a, an interesting voice, why don't you start presenting? I started presenting after presenting 
um, Nesta really taught me the importance of production. And yes, I've been able to apply that type of thinking in, on national radio. I mean, uh, due to the diversity of uh, your same crowd, I'm able to listen to various types of music and introduce that type of culture to Kenyan radio. It was just on a random evening. We were actually out there just trying to get one of my friends a gig. Then I got this call, and the guy on the other line just said, um, Is this Teddy? I was like, Yeah, this is Teddy. Um, calling you from Nation Media Group. My name is Sun So, and do you have time tomorrow? I said, Yes, I do have time. At what time? I said, I'm free all morning. Then it was like perfect. So I called up the guy the next morning when I got to Nation. And um, surprisingly, this is one person who was really, who had a lot of knowledge about me. Like, he didn't even interview me per se. He just told me stuff about me because he'd heard about me from somebody. He didn't actually put it out there in the first place. It was like, I heard you doing some great job at USIU Radio. I was like, wow, USIU Radio is really huge. I'm listening to The Morning Madness and it's very fun, entertaining. It's a great way to start your morning. It's almost addictive. I like USAU Radio. I feel like it's a good opportunity for journalism students to, you know, practice, practice um, what they want to do in the future and stuff. So the presenters are pretty cool. When you listen to them, they sound pretty relaxed, which is what, which is something that you would want in a radio presenter, you know. For those currently working at USAU Radio, learning on the job is becoming an all too familiar concept. This is a platform that allows them to make all the mistakes that they possibly can and learn from them while at it. There is a management body of students within USI Radio that ensures the standards of the station are upheld by everyone working on radio. It is their duty to make sure that everything runs smoothly, all members on radio are doing their jobs under good condition and ensure there's continuity in the station. My name is John Muraga and I am a presenter and producer at USA Radio. USA Radio 99.9 FM, you are listening to The Vibe. It's exactly 28 minutes past the top of the hour. Uh, what just played is I Spy Kylie featuring uh, Lil Yachi and coming up next some more from Martin Gurry and also Major Laser. Keep it locked. This is USA Radio. I became the head of radio uh, 20, in 2017, the beginning of the year, spring semester again. And um, it's been really interesting. There's a lot of talent uh, that's not recognized. One of the good things about working with students from uh, USIU is that I found they had a very, um, they were very competent in terms of student operations. And one of the hardest things, one of the hardest things to learn without being on air for a long time, is just basically how radio works in terms of your slickness, of how you use the desk, how you use idents, how you use music, how you structure your talking points, how you relate to your audience. Um, a lot of the students from USIU came with that knowledge and just sharpened it.